Hi, I'm on the road most of today, but I still wanted to put something out there for you guys. And um, I originally wanted to talk to you about baskets, wicker baskets, metal baskets, fabric baskets, plastic baskets, you name it. They are revolutionary and they can change your life. Now, I first fell in love using baskets in our bathroom cabinet. We have a built-in cabinet in our bathroom that stretches from the roof all the way to the floor with several shelves to store items that we would presumably use in the bathroom. But this space, it just became a mess. Everybody stuffed everything in there on any shelf that they could just find space on. So instead of shelves full of random stuff, I started sorting all the products into categories and then placed each category in a separate basket. The hair products in one basket, shaving stuff together, perfumes together, beauty products in their own basket, and the problem was solved. And then I labeled each basket. This just made it so much easier to find what we were looking for, but also for everyone to know exactly where to put something back after they've used it. So today we are going to look at different ways and areas in your home where you can use a basket or two or three to make life a little bit easier. Thanks again for joining me today. Please like my page if you're on Facebook, follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful. So the big question is, aren't a woman like us who are wearing so many different hats each day and to don't cheat by looking like we have everything under control. Take back our homes and life, free from the chains of clutter. How do we simplify, get started, get unstuck, let things go and create more time so that we can truly focus on what is essential for a happy and healthy life with our loved ones? That is the question, and this show will give you the answers. My name is Lizelle Tenton, and welcome to the Vanilla Essence Show. So let's organize with baskets. The pantry. Baskets are perfect, a perfect tool to organize your pantry. You can use larger baskets, like especially wicker baskets, to organize cookbooks together, cereal boxes, bags of chips, and even small appliances together in one basket. And then you can use smaller baskets to sort items together, like tea bags, seasonings, snack bars, etc. And with a label on front of each basket, it will be so easy to remember what is inside each one of them. Another thing that I so much like about using baskets is that you are creating a designated space for each item in your home. One of the biggest reasons for clutter in our homes is that stuff does not have a specific place. Baskets helps us to solve that problem and can reduce clutter tremendously. You can also use a basket on the kitchen counter. Now, just the other day, I did a video or an episode about keeping the counters clean, and I'm all for as little as possible on our kitchen counters. But instead of having a bunch of small items standing around, rather group them together and place them inside a beautiful round basket on your counter. This will ensure that there is always clean space available when you need to work and to prep food. And baskets in your linen closet can do wonders and look so beautiful. Each specific kind of bedding or linen can be placed in a separate basket. Pillowcases together, single fitted sheets together, double fitted sheets together, or you can keep your sets together in a basket. And you won't have to unpack the entire linen cupboard to find that one pillowcase that you are looking for. It will be in the pillowcase basket. Now remember to label the baskets so that you know what is inside of each one of them. Otherwise, you will still have to unpack all the baskets before you will find what you're looking for. You can also use baskets in a small bathroom to create more storage space. Smaller baskets on a narrow shelf can provide extra space or a basket beside the toilet to keep the toilet paper. It's pretty and functional. And you can even hang baskets on the walls to store towels or other items. Just remember that less is more. The more baskets and the more stuff you have on your walls, the more the chances are of the space looking cluttered. And are you tired of stuff always lying around in the entryway of your home? That space that is making the first impression? Well, create a cubby in the entryway and fit it with baskets. And then you can fill the baskets with shoes and keys, library books, hats, gloves, and 
What else? Each person in the home can also have his or her own basket, which is then their responsibility to sort and pack away once it is full. And a big basket in the living room, if you have the space, can look beautiful. Place it underneath the coffee table or next to the couch, and you can use it to store throws, pillows, toys, electronics, magazines, or board games. Now, using baskets for my kids' toys was a life changer. I grouped the same category of toys together in a basket. For example, all the soft toys together in a basket, all the cars together, and all the building blocks together in a basket, etc. And then I labeled each basket. Now, before my children could read, I labeled the basket with pictures of what was inside the basket. So the basket with the toy cars had a picture of a toy car on it. This made cleaning up time so much easier because they could help, because they knew exactly where each toy was supposed to go. Now, you can also control the clutter entering your home by using a basket. You basically create your own home spam filter. Just like you have a spam filter on your computer for your emails that identifies spam or junk mail as it enters your mailbox, you can create a spam filter for everything that enters your home. Just place a basket at the front door of your home, just on the inside of it, and then all the items that you are unsure of or do not usually find a specific place in your home goes directly into that basket. It is almost like you are placing the items under quarantine to see if you really need them or actually going to use them. Now, once this basket is full, you simply take a few minutes to sort through the items. You throw away the rubbish, you put away the items that you want to keep, and the rest that you can donate, you put on the back seat of your car to drop off as soon as possible. Now, there are many other more wonderful ways that you can use baskets in your home, but I sure hope you find these few helpful. Thanks again for joining me today. Please like my page if you're on Facebook, follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel. But first, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please share it with your friends and your family if you think that they might find this helpful too.